Leon is at least the eighth crypto sector executive who has resigned in recent months. Celsius CEO Alex Mashinsky resigned a week ago. S. Daniel Leon, who co-founded Celsius with Alex Mashinsky in 2017, has quit his job as the bankrupt crypto lender's chief strategy officer, CNBC reported October 4th, citing unnamed sources and an internal memo seen by the outlet. Bloomberg later reported receiving confirmation of Leon's resignation from the company. Leon's resignation comes one week after Mashinsky's and is part of an apparently growing trend. Celsius filed for bankruptcy July 13th, while it was under investigation by six American states and a month after freezing withdrawals. The company was reportedly $1.9 billion in debt at the time of its bankruptcy declaration. Mashinsky resigned September 27th, saying in a statement, I regret that my continued role as CEO has become an increasing distraction, and I am very sorry about the difficult financial circumstances members of our community are facing. His financial dealings and handling of the firm's final days of solvency were the subjects of intense scrutiny. Leon filed in U.S. bankruptcy court to have his 32,600 common shares of the company declared worthless on September 5th. Bids on Celsius assets will be accepted through October 17th, with an auction set for October 20th, if necessary. FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried was reportedly among the interested bidders. Leon has joined a steady stream of executives departing from the crypto sector as the crypto winter stretches on. Some execs, such as former MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor, Kraken CEO Jesse Powell, FTX U.S. President Brett Harrison, and Genesis CEO Michael Morrow and Managing Director Matthew Balanswig moved into less visible advisory roles. Others, such as former Alameda Research co-CEO Sam Trabuco, Ignite CEO Peng Zhong, and bankrupt Voyager Digital's Chief Financial Officer Ushvin Prithapal have changed direction entirely. All of those leaders have left their positions since July.